Lass uns von der Straße gehen. Gehen. That's my uh, poor German interpretation of let's go off road. And uh, I think that must have been some sort of sentence that may have been said at the Porsche factory one day at one of their design meetings because this is an off road Porsche 959 made by Hot Wheels. This is the nine, uh, 1986 version of the car that uh, I guess won the Paris Dakar rally that year. Okay, so let's take a look here. There's pictures, I guess, of the real car. Um, so yeah, it seems very common that uh, these diecast companies edit the graphics. Roth Rothmans is missing because I guess that's a tobacco company. They make uh, cigarettes. So it's not particularly accurate. But the other stuff, well, actually, no, there's no Dunlop there. There's, uh, they didn't get the licensing for Dunlop, apparently, on this model. Hmm, okay. The wheels are obviously a bit off. This will become a 3D wheel project of mine. Let's see on the back here. Uh, they don't have Shell or anything back here as well. Or even Porsche written in the back. So that's kind of too bad. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, it's kind of sort of a model of the car in these photos. Okay. But I'm not aware of a better 959 Dakar. So... In fact, let's talk a little bit about the Porsche 959. Uh, that was sold between 1986 and 1993. They're a little over $220,000 when they're new, and the internet's saying that it was only 50% of the production cost. So Porsche was actually losing money selling these things. Uh, I think they made like maybe over 300 of them. Uh, racing rules dictated they only needed to make 200, but I think it did better than expected. So there's a 2.8 liter twin turbocharged flat six back here and uh, that engine is based off of the racing cars uh, the Porsche 956 and 962 so those are really uh, successful Le Mans racing prototypes so that uh, I guess engine was the basis for the one that ended up in this thing and uh, at least in the road legal car I think it was making 440 horsepower somewhere in that ballpark and it had all-wheel drive and that all-wheel drive system was pretty smart it could actually send 80% of the power to the rear wheels for accelerating, you know, better. Uh, and then this thing could accelerate in 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. So that was, that's like motorcycle territory. So this is back in 1986. It was considered the fastest street legal car back then, as well as one of the most advanced sports cars ever built. Uh, besides those stats I told you earlier, it also had a ride height adjustable suspension. And it was made of aluminum and Kevlar composites. And uh, even the floor was made of Nomex, which is like a Kevlar kind of thing, or fireproof clothing, actually. The wheels, at least on the road car, I think, were magnesium alloy, and probably this uh, Dakar Rally car as well, although these Hot Wheels are not accurate, of course. So, let's talk a little bit about the Dakar Rally. In 1986, this car placed first place. There was also a second uh, place car, there was a 959. And then there was a third vehicle that was actually meant to be a support vehicle, but that support vehicle still managed to come in sixth place. So this is a really successful race car. So pretty interesting. Uh, but for some reason, this Dakar Rally version could only max out its speed at 130 miles per hour. Probably because, you know, you can't really go that fast in the Dakar Rally anyway, so they probably geared it better for off-roading. Uh, the Dakar Rally is over 13,000 kilometers, or over 8,500 miles. And then, uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Uh, now let's talk about scale here. I found out that the length of a 959 is 4,260. So I'm just punching that into my calculator. And uh, let's get the calipers out here. Okay, so I'm getting 72 point, I'll do that again. 72.37 Ooh, that's a big model. This is around 158th, well, 159 scale. So this is quite large. Okay. Just for reference, uh, the same in 1986, I believe this car may have won the WRC championship. This is a Lancia Delta S4, and you can just see how much smaller it is. Well, top view would really show it, right? So yeah, this Hot Wheels is huge, as the calipers indicate. Okay, well, 
until someone makes like a, a premium, not Hot Wheels premium, I'm talking like a real premium, like a resin model or something like that of uh, this car. I think this is the only rally version of a 959 that I'm aware of. I know Kyosha makes some street versions and someday I'll get one of those, but uh, I'm not aware of a Dakar Rally 959 in, in the roughly 164 scale except for this thing. But if anyone knows of one, please let me know because I'll definitely seek it out. Okay, so we've talked enough about uh, the statistics and stuff. We already saw that some of the graphics are missing from the real car. The wheels aren't accurate at all. At least they're white. Okay, so there's a door handle here, so that does seem to stick out, so that's good. It should be black. There's no paint on it, though, on this model, unfortunately. Uh, the front end, we've got the little plastic uh, headlights, which I guess are the same plastic as uh, the windshield. So they're a little bit tinted, which is kind of weird. I don't know why Hot Wheels does that so often. They tint their plastic, so it's hard to see the interiors. Are they just embarrassed of their interiors? Mm, I'm not sure. But it would be nice if the windshield and the, you know, headlights were clearer plastic. Okay, well there is a Porsche logo here on the front, although it's not going to be legible. Yeah. You'll see the printing of this thing is very dot matrix style. It's very pixelated or something. There's like a graininess to it. I don't understand why that's the case. You know, the red stripe there looks okay. But this uh, yellowish stripe, it seems... You know, you can see dots of red in it. So weird. Uh, I don't know why they do that. Hmm. It's very strange. Okay. And also, even the blue. I kind of feel like I can see dots of white in it. Hmm. Or even the white text, I can see dots of blue. So it's kind of strange. Anyways, I'm not noticing this thing. On the real car, there's just an open hole. Probably for like a fuel filler, maybe? But uh, Hot Wheels did their own thing here. I don't, I don't know. That doesn't really look like a fuel filler to me. It looks like a weird plant or something. So that's kind of weird. Hmm. And then, yeah, that's a bit odd as well. This rear window is painted. It's not part of this plastic. It w I would think that it would be relatively easy to have that, the same piece of plastic as that, like most other Hot Wheels. So that's really strange. Why would they do that? Would anyone have any ideas? I'd be curious. And sadly, it's print misprinted. You can see the white here. So this whole graphic has shifted to the right side too much. Okay, so yeah, you can see the speckling in the color there. Strange. Okay, yeah, it would have been nice to say Porsche there. Would have been nice to also have a license plate there. I'm pretty sure I've seen it in other Hot Wheels. Am I wrong? Oh well. And then this is a nicely printed tail light here, but something went wrong on this side. It's like the top orange is missing. Hmm. But they tried to get some black in these vents. They, they did a right job on these vents. Okay. Let's see. This thing is made in 2019, so not too old. I do like that it says a 1986 959. Okay, it's riveted. So, I guess on uh, the real car, these bumps, on the back view, if you want to rewind, there are red lights there. So I guess they're brake lights. Just additional brake lights, maybe for night racing. Okay. And then there is actually an intercooler, or some sort of radiator. An additional radiator right here in the on the real car. But uh, Hot Wheels seem to skip that. Oh no, it's actually molded there. There's a box molded here. I think it just would have been nice if it was actually painted silver because the the real car seems to have a silver radiator right there. Hmm. That does, goes in pretty deep though. Okay. So, yeah, there's a seems to be a lot to be desired on this model. There's a lot that's gone wrong unfortunately. These bumps here do, do exist on the photo of the real car. Not sure what those things would be for on the real car, but I see them on the photograph. Okay, and then uh, I'm guessing these bumps must be like uh, hood latch pins or something. Although I'm not sure about this one here. Hmm. Seem to be like a tiny bit of a molded in windshield, but it's not a uh, windshield wiper, but it's not painted or anything like that. 
Mm, the blobby mirrors are close to accurate. It's got some really small mirrors on the real car, so I think that's alright. So, I guess it's still... <laughs> uh, I don't know, I just feel like I've seen a lot better from Hot Wheels and their premium, uh, brand, premium brand line. You know, a lot of other cars are a lot better. This one, uh... It's it's definitely missing some details and or the printing itself just wasn't done as well as it could have been. But anyways, uh, give me a second here. I'm going to uh, come back and uh, try to copy the real wheels that are on the real car. Okay, and so I'm back here. Um, there's a brake system back in there, but it's so far in. I'm not sure if you can see it. And it does spin with the wheel anyways because there's no index here on the base of a Hot Wheels to keep it stationary. Uh, I did preserve the original tires, so you just take off the original tires, you clip off the wheels, and you, you save as much of the axle as possible, and then uh, reuse the uh, stock Hot Wheels axle there. So, okay. So, as compared to a different photo I found here of the car, there we go. And, whoop, sorry, go this way around. So, I'm not sure how much more accurate I could have been. I literally traced over that wheel so it's just pretty close. Uh, the center cap here, actually I don't think there is a center cap on this one. I've seen images where there's a center cap that might be silver or sometimes there's nothing there and I think there's a piece of black axle maybe poking through. But anyways I just put a little black dot on there. Okay so let's uh, put it up on the uh, Spin Master here. Let it take a spin of glory before we finish. I did add a little bit of black there in that front hood vent with the black sharpie. I added a little silver to the mirrors and a little red sharpie here for those uh, lights that are in the back. And also some black uh, paint there on that vent. It's really hard to actually get the black paint on that rear vent proper though. So I don't know if you guys, if you guys are going to try to mod this, you might want to avoid this. You see it's not perfectly molded perfect so it's hard to get a straight edge when this whole thing is like undulating you know the casting itself is doesn't have a straight edge so this hmm maybe I'll strip that off and just leave it the originally white but anyways so just be mindful of that if you try to go and paint that it won't be easy okay and then actually I did add a little black back there with the sharpie again so okay so and that's it for uh, I guess today's 3d wheel project I think it definitely looks better than the uh, original wheels because those original wheels were like mini lights and obviously that's not what uh, Porsche had on the Dakar race car so alright uh, uh, all in all it's an okay model it's got a, that whole weird pixelated graphic thing going on where it looks like a dot matrix printer it's kind of weird but I, I guess it's still the best uh, Dakar 959 out there so if you like uh, Dakar racing, rally racing, you know, this model is for you guys. Okay, guys, uh, take care, and we'll see you in the next project. Thanks.